video we will see how to fetch all fields of any s object using apex in salesforce so i have listed the list of steps which we will take to fetch all fields of an object using apex in salesforce so first of all we will look at what is dynamic apex and we will see how to access all s objects and from that map of all s objects we will select one s object which is account and then we will retrieve the metadata of that account object after retrieving the metadata we will fetch all the fields of the account and then we will print the api name or label of the all the fields so let's first look at what is uh, dynamic apex so dynamic apex is a feature uh, in salesforce that enables developers to write apex code that is capable of dynamically discovering metadata such as fields and objects at runtime this feature provides the flexibility to write generic code that can work with any object and retrieve any data that is available in the salesforce platform so let's uh, go to our developer console and from the anonymous window let's write the code to access all s objects so this is the first step then we will see get account as object then we will retrieve the metadata of account after that we will fetch, fetch all the fields of account and then uh, print the label or name of those fields so let's start so map here string comma schema dot okay schema dot the uh, name of the class is s object type let's create a variable equals to schema dot uh, get global describe so we are using the get global describe method of the schema namespace get get global describe method of schema namespace which will return a map of key and a subject token values so this is the first line now the second step is to fetch the specific account object for that let's continue schema dot s object type so we will create one variable of schema dot s object type and let's write it s object type after date gd we will be going to this map then we will get the and we know for account object the api name is account so we will use account so here we are using uh, we are just uh, fetching the value of uh, account key from this map and let me remove the semicolon from here and put it here and now the next step is let's see the step, list of steps so we are done with how to access all s objects get account s object now let's retrieve account object metadata for that uh, schema dot describe s object result so we will describe the result of s object here r equals to s object type sorry i am writing it wrong s object type dot get describe so this line of code will retrieve the metadata of account object after that we will uh, fetch all fields of the account so map string comma schema dot on the top we are fetching s object that's why uh, on the top we are fetching uh, objects that why we have written s object type here we will write s object field because we are fetching field now let's give it a name map of field equals to r dot field dot get map so this line of code will give us all fields of the account object and now we will look through this list of field and will print the name of fields so for and as you can see the name of the type of key is string so here string and here we are we will get the field name after that map of 
of the field equals to map of field let's just copy paste map of field dot get using this field name after that schema dot describe uh, on the top we are getting s object that's why we are using describe s object result here we are getting the field that's why describe field result f equals to field dot get describe you can see a lot of similarity between the code for uh, patching the objects and the fields as you can see here i am using field dot get describe here i am using s object type dot get describe now we have the field so let's print the information here field name and after that f dot get name so we have done with writing the codes let's execute it so i have selected it and click on execute highlighted let's wait for the execution and go to our anonymous window uh, go to our developer console and it is already open let's click on debug only and you can see all the fields of account object are listed id name billing address shipping address phone fax account number website so this is how we will fetch all fields of any object using apex let's just replace the account api name with contact and see the difference in result so contact and let's select it click on execute highlighted let's wait for execution and as you can see it is already executed and here you can see the name of the fields of contact object first name last name other street mailing street and email lead source let me also confirm you by going to setup object manager using 